Mercedes-Benz have just released all the information on the brand new C63S. All the rumors are true and the V8 has been sadly replaced with a four-cylinder engine. But how have AMG managed to build what they believe to be a faster and better car? Stay tuned while we take an in-depth look at the all-new C63S and the new bold evolution of Mercedes-AMG. Much like the previous generation, the new C63S is much more muscular than the standard C-Class in its proportions. The front end is 50mm longer and the front wings are wider, creating a much meaner presence on the road. In terms of length, the saloon and estate measure an extra 83mm and the wheelbase has grown by 10mm. This gives the car a much more powerful, stretched look. A brand new feature exclusive to the C63S is a slim air outlet in the center of the hood. A nice sporty touch. And that's not all, for the first time on a Mercedes-AMG production model, the traditional Mercedes circular badge has been replaced with a full AMG emblem. All the usual high-end AMG staples are here too, such as the much-loved AMG grille with vertical struts. Along the side we have strong and bold intakes with the new Turbo E Performance badging. The car is also sitting on these all new 20 inch AMG forged wheels which now feature a white AMG decal. Then along the back we have the stunning C-Class lights paired with the mean C63S rear diffuser with signature AMG quad squared off tailpipes. Above is the all new rear spoiler which is much larger than the previous generation. For colours, the C63 has all the standard C-Class colours with an additional exclusive matte graphite grey option. If you're familiar with my CLA45S, this is like the lovely matte paint here, but it's a much darker, deeper grey, so it's going to look absolutely insane. Two carbon fibre packages and a night package will also be available as options when the car launches. The new C63S features the new, gorgeous technology-driven interior from the C-Class, now with completely redesigned second-generation AMG performance seats. These seats feature a premium AMG symbol embossed in the headrest and a new redesigned matte chrome inlay, which now holds the AMG logo. Overall, these seats look to be more padded and thicker than the previous generation, but they look like they still do a fantastic job to hold the driver in place. I can't wait to test these new seats and see how they compare to the very popular current generation. All the great features from MBUX in the new C-Class are here too, along with some new AMG screens. There's a new engine flow screen for the car's hybrid functions, and this impressive AMG exclusive engine data screen. You also get the latest AMG steering wheel with updated drive mode dials and the programmable buttons. Right, let's talk about the powertrain. This is where things get interesting and well, a little controversial. Sadly, the rumors were all true and the V8 that we all know and love has now been replaced with a four-cylinder hybrid setup. Now we have a two-liter engine at the front and an electric motor at the back. This four-cylinder engine is a modified version of AMG's new M139 engine, which now produces 476 horsepower, which is absolutely insane for a four-cylinder engine. This is paired with a 204 horsepower electric motor resulting in a total power of 680 horsepower, a huge increase over the previous generation. So it's got all the power, but what about that charm of the V8? Sadly, we won't get to hear the incredible rumble of the V8, but it can't be denied, these figures are seriously impressive. What's more impressive though, is the way they all work together, combined with some seriously high-end technology taken straight from the Mercedes-AMG Formula One team. AMG have promised that like in the Formula One car, power delivery and torque buildup will occur very spontaneously without any delay. 
An electric gas turbocharger eliminates any turbo lag from the combustion engine, while at the same time, the electric motor pushes the car powerfully from a standstill. At its peak, the system produces a whopping 1,020 Newton meters of torque. This results in an impressive 0 to 60 of under 3.4 seconds. The hybrid system in this car is really revolutionary and it's leaps ahead of other hybrid cars on the road. Now, if you guys are interested in the full technical specifications, I will make a full detailed video on exactly how this system works and why it's so revolutionary. But to simplify things for this video, one of the main reasons why this system is so far ahead of other cars is due to its incredible cooling, allowing the batteries to function at full capacity all the time. This is a revolutionary AMG developed technology where a non-conductive liquid cools each individual cell, allowing the battery to function at its highest peak without any drop of power. The C63 features eight dynamic drive modes. There's a lot to take in here, so I'm gonna be doing a whole video explaining how each drive mode works with the new hybrid setup. But one of these modes is the all new electric only mode, allowing the C63 to be the most efficient AMG we've ever seen, or is it? Sadly, the electric mode will only cover a range of eight miles. This is because the battery has been designed for fast power delivery and take up, much like the Formula One car. That being said, when I think about it, eight miles is actually pretty good. I can't imagine anyone's gonna buy this car to do long drives in electric mode, but having the option to activate it in residential estates and small trips to the shops, it's gonna be incredibly helpful and save a lot of money on fuel. The new C63S also features an AMG developed four wheel drive system for the first time, making it more practical than ever. We'll discuss this in more detail later on in the video. Now I know what you're all thinking, what about the weight? There must be a price to pay to pack all of this into one car. The previous generation C63S saloon weighed 1,730 kilograms, while the new model weighs 2,101 kilograms. But considering it now has a hybrid powertrain and four wheel drive, it's much less than I thought. Still though, 2,101 kilograms is not a light car. Here's how it compares to other current AMG models. The CLA45S weighs 1,600 kilograms, while the AMG GT shares a similar weight. However, with a 0 to 60 time below 3.4 seconds, this car clearly won't feel as heavy as it sounds and I'd bet good money too that it's also not gonna feel heavy around the corners with its sophisticated AMG dynamics. For the first time, the C63 features a full four wheel drive system. Depending on drive modes, power is predominantly delivered to the rear wheels. But if the rear wheels suddenly have too much slip, the electric motor is gonna quickly distribute power to the front wheels. If the batteries run down or the driver needs more power, the system will send power to the front wheels using the combustion engine. So if you like to go sideways, just like the CLA45S, you can activate drift mode, which sends all the power to the rear. The car also features the AMG ride control suspension and adaptive damping system from the GT Black series. Each damper is fitted with two external electro-hydraulic valves, which act independently of each other to control draw and pressure. In the process, the system's control software continuously monitors operating data, such as steering wheel angle, vehicle speed, acceleration, and body movement. In this way, the dampers are controlled within milliseconds as the situation requires. The result is that even during extreme driving maneuvers or on poor roads, the wheels are always firmly on the ground. There's a choice of three different damping modes, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. Turning is handled by a three-stage AMG parameter steering system, which features a variable steering geometry ratio that adapts to the selected drive program. For example, at high speeds, the steering power assistance decreases. At low speeds, it is steadily increased. As a result, little steering effort is required at low speeds, as well as when maneuvering and parking, while the best possible control over the vehicle is maintained while driving faster. 
In the Sport and Sport Plus suspension settings, the driver also experiences significantly more feedback from the steering wheel. The C63 also features rear axle steering for the first time. This leads to virtually shortening the wheelbase, which in turn results in significantly more agile turning, less steering effort, and improved maneuverability. The response of the rear axle steering depends on the selected AMG Dynamic Select Drive program. The integrated AMG Dynamics Dynamic Control System influences the control of ESP, the all-wheel drive, and the electronically controlled limited slip rear differential. This increases agility without compromising the vehicle's stability. AMG Dynamics determines how the vehicle should react. The system uses all the available sensors, among other things, to ascertain the speed, lateral acceleration, steering angle, and yaw rate. There are four modes to choose from. Basic is assigned to the comfort and electric drive programs. This is designed to be a very stable ride with high yaw damping. Advanced is activated in the sport program. The vehicle remains neutrally balanced. The reduced yaw damping and increased agility support dynamic maneuvers such as driving on windy country roads or going around bends a little bit quicker. Pro is part of the Sport Plus program. In Pro, the driver receives even more assistance for dynamic driving maneuvers, while agility and feedback from the road when cornering are further enhanced. Master is coupled with the drive program race. Now, master mode is aimed at drivers who want to experience the most dynamic ride. This is mostly reserved for tracks and cornered off circuits. It offers slightly oversteering vehicle balance, more direct steering, and a more agile turning behavior. Needless to say, a huge amount of engineering has gone into the handling of these cars. This is something AMG has truly excelled at with the recent generation of AMGs. Just the amount of customization you can do is truly remarkable. So there we have it guys, that is my first in-depth look at the all new C63S. Now of course it is such a sad day to see the V8 go, but this is still setting out to be an amazing car. I'm going to be doing more coverage on this car, so if you're interested in the C63, make sure to watch out for more videos. And of course, once the car arrives here in the UK, I'll be making sure to get my hands on one in the flesh so I can give it a proper test and a proper review for you all. So guys, I think there's only one way to end this video and I think we should just all take a moment of silence and respect to say goodbye to the much loved V8 engine because honestly, it's gonna be so missed and it is so sad to see it go.